Hey, what's going on today? YouTube Memphis Mike coming to you live from the tool room. Man, how you like that superb backdrop? Yeah. Anyway, we're all natural around here. Let's talk about audio and moto vlogging and a moto vlogging setup. You know, currently we've got now at the time of this recording, uh, which in another six months can probably change. We've got the GoPro 8 that has come out. Um, I have the GoPro Hero 7 Black. There is also a GoPro 6 version. And I have a GoPro Hero Session 5. I love this little camera. Wish you could put batteries in it, but man, it's so tiny. So small. That's what she said. Um, anyway, so that's my current, that's the cameras I have. Now, in past, and still do, I had the Hero 3 and Hero 4. And I've used these quite a bit. The cool thing about these older cameras was you could just take an adapter right here, pop it in. You know, this adapter's, you know, six, eight bucks. Plug it in. And you could take a microphone, plug it in there, and voila, you got audio going to your camera. That's how my very first video was cut, why I bought a Honda Goldwing. You ought to check that out. Up over, up close to 400,000 views, I think, something like that. Anyway, the problem is with the new cameras, from starting at Hero 5 and up, you had to have that brick adapter to plug in, and that thing costs 50 bucks, and it looks terrible, and there's not really a great aftermarket option uh, knockoff to use. A lot of people say the knockoffs just don't work. So, you know, we got to come up with a different option here with these to get audio. Well, my solution is what I've decided to do uh, is I have bought a Tascam personal digital recorder right here. It's uh, pretty sweet. It's the microphone that would plug in simply straight in right there. And I would drop this in my pocket, run it up through my jacket, put it inside the helmet, and boom, we are ready to go. And then what happens is, with the video and the audio, I would synchronize it up in post-process so I could match the audio up um, to the video. Now, let me tell you about this microphone right here. Let me find the box back right here. This has been a fantastic little mic right here. This power to wise. A couple of guys have uh, tried this out. At, uh, I know uh, uh, my buddy Ashley and uh, Tony Reno has tried this out. Man, it's less than 25 bucks. They give you about five or six feet of cable and then they give you another uh, add on for that. You got plenty of cable. There is no shortage of cable. And the audio sounds pretty fantastic for less than $25. In fact, I have an $80 Rode mic that, I'll be honest, I cannot tell the difference. Why did I buy the $80 one? Because I'm a gear nerd sometimes, and I just do stupid things. But anyway, so we're talking about getting audio to these. Uh, that's how that would work. Now, one option, too, with these old GoPro 3s and 4s, you know, you can have the Cena audio pack. I do want run Cena headsets in my helmets. You know, you can see there's how the uh, audio pack goes right there. You know, it keeps you wireless, basically. Going from the Cena, pair it up to this, and boom, you got audio. But these cameras are old. They're not going to last forever. My old Hero 3, the sensor is out. Uh, it makes for a good paperweight right now. Uh, my Hero 4, still a great little camera. But like I say, being a geek nerd at times, sometimes you got to get the latest grades. Now the GoPro 8 is out as well, and there's a new mod pack. I don't know much about it. Uh, uh, check Cruise Man's Garage out. Uh, he's probably going to be doing something with the mod pack uh, on his channel right there. So let's go out and do some test writing and see how this setup works with a digital audio recorder and this inexpensive power device microphone. And then you tell me what you think about the audio quality. Okay, so as I told you before, I'm going to sync it up by what, three hand claps. Let's do this again. One, two, three. And simply I've got uh, my recorder here. I'm just going to drop it down in my pocket 
right here and I've set my level I'm looking at about a minus 12 to minus 6 uh, input level right now so let's test this out right now I'm running my uh, showy Neotech I do not have a chin curtain in I'm running a selfie camera as I'm not really here to talk about the view or anything we're basically looking at audio and testing out audio for this powered to wise microphone and also the Tascam DR05X. Uh, I have my visor closed down. Now, if you'll notice with the visor down, it's a little more muffled, I believe. I like to actually ride a little bit with my visor up, and you probably just heard a little bit of difference right there. Uh, you get a little more ambient noise, which I personally do not mind. But that's all this is, just a simple test to see how this audio works right here uh man what a lovely day we got here in memphis tennessee At the time of this recording here in february we have 48 degrees in sunshine it's been man just rainy all all this whole time this whole week and everything i've still been riding some back and forth to work and everything but again we want to do the test right here uh, for the audio on this particular microphone and you know it'll give you a different option and setup if you have a GoPro 5, 6, or 7 and up uh, and you don't want that $50 brick, brick adapter uh, to have to use which I just think is ugly and wow what a lot of money for an adapter 50 bucks for another 30 bucks, I can get that personal digital recorder, the Tascam DR05X, and I also have it for multiple uses as well. We got actually quite a bit of wind going on today. I'm going to close my uh, shield back down, and um, we'll just go in, do an audio comparison. I will probably enhance the audio a little bit. I'll probably add a limiter on it. So I can bring the gain up just a little bit as needed. Uh, possibly a little bass enhancement if needed to uh, process this. Um, one thing when it comes to YouTube and videos, people will forgive you for bad video quality, but they won't forgive you for poor audio. And uh, that's just a common known thing um, some of you guys post videos sometimes on Facebook you just throw your GoPro up on your motorcycle and yeah while the view is great the wind noise is so horrific uh, I click off in about 10 seconds I'm like no I'm sorry uh, that's just not gonna work so tell me what do you think about this audio sound right here um, Let's get back to the studio and see what this sounds like and do a little processing and, and you give me your thoughts on it. All right, so let's uh, talk about this. But uh, first, you know what? I got a bunch of Memphis Mike stickers here. If you stayed with the video this long, I want you to respond in the comment and the first person that does, I'm going to send out a couple of stickers to you. You got to respond in the comments and say, I want the sticker. And then I will respond back to you and tell you how to reach me to send me your mailing address. I appreciate you sticking with the video. Anyway, so what do you think about the audio? Is that a setup uh, that you would consider using? Do you feel like it's too much trouble to get rolling and going? Or, uh, you know, what's your take on it? How is the audio? Do you feel like it's too muddy? too trebly? Would you rather hear more motorcycle? I mean, granted, the Gold Wing doesn't really have that much sound, to be honest, and everything. So, um, you know, I appreciate you hanging with me and watching. Um, anyway, drop me a comment. Like this video, if you will. Please be sure and share the video as well. Hit the subscribe button. And this is Memphis Mike, and I appreciate you watching. I'll put all the links uh, to the items I talked about in the description, and I will. See you later.